Hey everybody, Jennifer Laner here with jenlaner.com and soon to be camp director with the social media summer camp with Jen. And today I want to talk about Periscope and Meerkat. If you aren't familiar with these two applications, basically what they are, um, are applications that allow you to live stream any event. So basically if you are at a softball game or if you are conducting a webinar, or if you are at a, a basketball game or a ballet performance, or quietly sitting and crocheting, um, you can broadcast that slice of your life to the masses. And what makes it really unique and why it's different than, for example, like FaceTiming or just recording with your phone is that it sits both Periscope and Twitter, I mean, Periscope and Meerkat overlay with um, and and play very nicely with Twitter. So if you are like periscoping an event or meerkatting an event, or we'll just say live streaming an event, um, as soon as you click the play button, essentially all of your Twitter followers are alerted. Um, definitely all of the people who follow you on those particular apps are alerted that you are now streaming live. And when they hop on to your stream, they're able to retweet it to all of their followers. So it is possible that you could end up with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, I dare say millions of people. I mean, it's possible um, who could be sharing this experience with you or watching you in your live stream. Okay, so as a person with an online business and as a marketer, my mess, my question is, how can I use this to reach more of my audience with my message? And that is what I want to talk to you. Um, that's what I want to talk to you about today is because I do think there is quite a lot of potential in using these applications to reach a wider audience. So um, let me get right into the application itself and show you how it works, okay? Okay, so this is my iPhone and we're going to go to the Periscope app. Um, at, at this time, unfortunately, you can only use Periscope with an iPhone. Um, I think Android's gonna be um, coming up soon, I hope. Okay, so um, first I'm going to click on the icon on the bottom left-hand corner with the TV. Um, and you can see that I've clicked there because it is blue. And it's telling me that no one that I'm following is live. So I could click here where it says view global list right below that message. Or I could click on the picture of the globe. And this is showing me all the broadcasts across the world that are happening right now. Um, let's see. This is a podcast interview in Palo Alto, the Nordic Innova Innovation House. All right. So let's turn it up and see what they're saying. When did the Nordic Innovation House begin? Uh, was Palo Alto the first location? Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so actually Nordic Innovation House is a collaboration between all the five Nordic countries. So in this collaboration, it's Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland. And uh, if we go back in the history... Okay, so what's happening here is, uh, let, let me talk about what's on the screen. There's two people watching. Uh, me and someone else. A moment ago, you saw me comment and it said hello from Shaker Heights, Ohio. Um, and I also tapped hearts. I'm doing that now. And um, if you'll notice that my color is purple. And so when I, the color that it's automatically given me when I entered the room was purple. So when I tap the screen, um, the hearts that come up are purple. And, okay, and someone else just joined. I can see that. Okay, so I'm going to close out. So clearly, it looks like um, they're doing maybe a, um, an audio interview. I didn't see a camera, but um, 
Uh, it looked like maybe they were doing a, a podcast. This person is walking in Paris. Let's see what Paris looks like today. Okay, so let's talk more about what the um, what the hearts mean. So when you give someone hearts, we'll look at this person's profile. You can see that they have 2,184 hearts. And the more hearts you get, um, the more likely you will appear on the Periscope leaderboard. So that's just sort of, um, you know, not a super important thing, but um, definitely worth mentioning what's going on with those hearts. Okay, so um, so these are all the, all the um, broadcasts that are happening right now. Somebody's waiting on a train in New York. Okay, now, how do we broadcast? Do you see this little icon, the third icon from the left at the bottom? Looks like a camera. We're going to click on that. And this is where we have an opportunity to really reach our audience and get the word out, okay? So I'm going to type, um, let's see, we are doing a hashtag Periscope demo. And then maybe I'll do hashtag social media. That's one I use a lot. And maybe I want a certain person to see it. So I'll click CC. And I'm actually just going to put in my old account that's still alive just for demonstration purposes. Okay. Now, at the very bottom, you'll see there's a lock, whoops, there's a little lock symbol. If I click that, then I'm able to make this broadcast private to just certain people who I click on, okay? And it's sort of like a, it'd be like a the equivalent of a an intimate uh, Google Hangout where you just have a couple of people or, or a certain number of people. Um, but I don't want to do that. I want to make this public. And then if I click on this little chat bubble, it shows that only people I follow can comment in the chat or during the broadcast. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave it open to everybody. Now, this Twitter bird, what this is, and this is really key, is if, if I turn this off, then when I start the broadcast, no one will be alerted. But if I turn it on, everyone will be alerted. So I'm going to keep it on, and then I'm going to choose Start Broadcast. Okay, it's infinity. Okay. Um, so it shows you at the top. I just got, I see my tweet that I just sent out. And um, it looks like one person is watching. Okay, we've got another person. So this looks like infinity, you guys, those who are just now hopping on. And that is because I am um, recording a demo, a recorded demo on how to use Periscope. So it looks... <laughs> It's infinity. It's kind of it's kind of um, strange. So we've got these people hopping on. How about a few hearts, you guys, for my demo? It'll help me demo what I'm doing. Okay. So unfortunately, you're not going to see a lot because I am getting ready to um, end the broadcast. I was just doing a demo, but thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the hearts. Yeah, it's blurry, John, because it's infinity. I'm showing my screen. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. Okay, so this this demo is going to be um, on my website in a little while. Go to uh, jenlaner.com and you'll see the full demo of uh, the optimum way to use Periscope in your marketing. And the way that I ended the broadcast was swiping from the top down to the screen that ended the broadcast. It's um, uploading this and, uh, and it's saving it to my camera roll. And I'll show you how I made that happen automatically. So as soon as this is done uploading, I'll close out of the screen.
And we could see that just for those few moments, there were 23 live viewers. And what's interesting is that there were 10 more people you see here at the bottom who were viewing from their computers. So um, you can't see who they are, but um, we actually, in just those few moments, had 33 live viewers. I personally find that to be like astounding. Okay, so it's automatically saved to my camera roll. And so while I'm not able to um, ever make that live again, it did save to my camera roll. So if it was something really great that I that I wanted to save, I, I could edit it later. Um, I could stitch it together with some other live broadcasts and I could really make some interesting um, content to put out there later. So a great way to, to you know, multi-purpose your content. Okay, so let's go back, let's go to settings. And I do that by clicking on the top right where the icon of the head. All right, and there I am. I have 830 hearts. I'm following 213 people. I'm being followed by 58. I haven't blocked anyone. I've done 17 broadcasts. Um, and now I'm going to click on settings. All right, so I have it set so that anytime someone follows me, I'm notified. And then I, this setting here auto saves my broadcast. So the only reason I can see turning that off is if um, you're limited on memory on your phone, because you know if you're constantly broadcasting and having it auto save, then it will eat up a lot of your memory. Um, but I have a good amount of memory, so I'm going to leave that on. Okay, so now let's talk about Meerkat. Meerkat has some really cool options that Periscope, Periscope doesn't actually offer. Um, first of all, you're able to schedule a stream in advance. So if I click test, we'll just, you know, pretend that's the name of our stream. And then I click schedule. Um, I choose my time and then I can add a photo. And then I would click schedule. And there it is, that goofy picture. Um, people can retweet right from there. Um, and they can uh, comment before you ever even get started. Um, and you can see if we scroll down, people have really branded their streams really beautifully in some cases. You can see this beer radio. It looks like they created a graphic especially for Meerkat. Right here, it shows that my tweets end with hashtag Meerkat. Anything you schedule with Meerkat, as soon as you schedule uh, a Meerkat stream, it automatically tweets out to all your followers. Um, so if you want to make double certain that you get found by people um, who maybe aren't your followers yet is to let the tweet end with hashtag meerkat. Um, and that's a great way to also find other live streams is just searching for hashtag meerkat. The other thing, and this is really, really cool, is that you can end your stream with a call to action button. And mine is set up to take people to um, our awesome Facebook group called The Front Row. So they see this button here at the bottom and they click on it, which I'll do right now, and it takes them directly over to the front row. So if they like what I had to say in my stream and they wanna check me out some more, this will take them right there. Okay, and then finally, and really maybe most importantly, and this is a new feature that is just so cool, is that um, I, have, I have Meerkat connected with my business Facebook page. So as soon as I schedule my stream or start my stream, it automatically posts to my Facebook page and people can watch my live Meerkat stream right there. So um, I'll show you what I mean. I'll go over to Facebook and there it is, that goofy picture. And um, as soon as I start streaming, when we click on there, we'll see the stream. Um, let's look um, at what it actually looks like inside a Meerkat stream. Okay, so here we are, and um, this is an Italian restaurant. It's Swedish Food TV, and we can see there's 87 people watching. A thousand have have hopped on uh, since they began, and we can see all the people who are in the room across the top. I can click on any of their profiles and get more, find out what their um, bio, their Twitter bio says about them, and also their Twitter handle. Um, I've got them muted so we can't hear what they're saying, but what a great way to feature your restaurant um, by, you know, turning on a camera and showing real time 
uh, the good stuff you're doing behind the scenes. And they're answering, they've, they've given this a hashtag. It's hashtag service hours. I can see that at the top right hand screen. Um, part of their screen and they're recording from Stockholm, Sweden and um, and they're doing a live Q&A so people are are asking them like what's you know what are you making how did you make that and they're talking back to the camera to their viewers so um, so definitely a very um, ingenious way to use live streaming in your business I want to show you what it looks like if we actually stream so I'm going to, this is how you start a stream in Meerkat. We're going to click stream. I'm going to click stream. And then I'm going to flip the camera around. And the way that I do that is this little circle at the bottom. Hello. Um, we can see there's nobody here right now in the top left-hand corner. And um, if I click here, I can tweet out um, whatever I want. So I can use my hashtags, I can use, I can bring other people into the conversation. So I'll just say test. And then, um, and then I, if I hit send, it will go out to all my Twitter followers. Um, and it will also uh, show up here in this room to the other viewers. And then if I don't want this to get tweeted, I just click that little toggle right there and say, don't tweet this comment. Hey, if you're not already a member of the um, most friendly Facebook group around where we talk about the latest, greatest digital uh, marketing strategies to build your email list and grow your business, stop on by and become a member. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash in the front row. I'll see you there.